Good morning, family. How are you doing on this Tuesday morning? I trust that you are strong and filled with the joy of the Lord. I put this helmet on because I want to talk about being a warrior today. And uh, on Sunday, we spoke about Daniel and we learned from him how to be a warrior, not only fighting in the spirit, in prayer, not only fighting in our lifestyle, but also fighting in our thinking. And that's the reason I've got this helmet on, because the scripture in Ephesians 6 is so well known. It says, put on the helmet of salvation. And uh, the helmet of salvation is given to us as part of our armor to protect our thinking, to protect our minds. And any soldier in a combat situation needs a helmet to keep their, 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 their mind safe. Because, you know, if your mind um, goes, there goes the battle. There goes you. Um, and uh, it, it just not only keeps it safe, but also gives you that, that confidence that, that you can go in the battle because your, your head is protected. And um, I want to talk a little bit about our helmet of salvation. And as we see it in the book of Daniel and how he relied on that helmet of salvation. Um, and uh, I want to take you to Daniel 2. And in Daniel 2, we read that the king has had a dream. King Nebuchadnezzar had a dream and this dream troubled him. And he wanted somebody to explain the dream to him. So he went to his own astrologers, his magicians, his sorcerers, and he said to them, I had a dream. I'm going to tell you what the dream is because I, I want to know that this is serious and I, I really want to know what this means. So I don't want you to just give me some made up uh, definition or explanation for the dream. I want you to tell me what I dreamt and then give the meaning to me. And the, this was too much for the astrologers. They, they didn't want to do this. He, they, they couldn't. And in verse 11 of chapter 2, they say the following. What the king asks is too difficult. No one can reveal it to the king except the gods. And then these very important words. And they do not live among humans. They do not live among humans. That statement and its opposite as we believe. We believe our salvation is based in the Messiah that came. Emmanuel, God with us. It is that statement that became the key foundational uh, statement that the warfare was being done over in the book of Daniel. These false gods that these astrologers and the Babylonians believed in, had, they had a certain view of who divinity and deity is. And that is separate from humanity, apart from humanity, not in, not in the situation with them, but separate from them. But Daniel says the following in uh, verse 23, when he comes and he prays and he now comes before the king, he's going to come to the king and say, I will tell you the dream and I will give you the meaning. He says in verse 23, I thank and praise you, God of my ancestors. You have given me wisdom and power. You have made known to me what we asked of you. You have made known to us the dream of the king. And Daniel starts showing them that God is with us. God is with the Israelites. God is not a God. Jehovah is not a God that is separate, that is far off, that is distant. And I want to encourage you with that today. As you are facing whatever battles you are facing. And I know the battles can be very real and you can feel like you've, you, you're in a war and, and, and it's chaos and you've lost control and you don't know what to do and, and you don't see a way out. You only see defeat in this battle. I, I want to tell you today that it is so important that you are founded and strengthened in these foundational truths at this time. And, and these foundational truths of our salvation will protect you for this battle and keep you strong. And this is the first foundational truth or the foundational truth that I want to just leave with you today. That God is with you. God is with you. Those are small little words, but they mean so much. You see, every battle that you are in right here, we see it in the book of Daniel. God is part of that battle. Daniel was going through a, a battle. And time and again, we saw how God was with him in the battle. God came into the fiery furnace, was with him. In the lion's den, God was with him. In, in, in the king's chambers, God was with him. In every situation, God is with us. You see, our God is not a God that sits at the edge of the universe, just looking at what's going on. Our God gets involved, and we ultimately see that in Jesus. 
Emmanuel, God with us. Jesus didn't stay in heaven. He came down. The scripture says he was like tempted like us in every way. He became part of this battle. He died in this battle and then rose again to win the victory. Whatever you're going through today, I want to tell you this truth that I want you to, to reaffirm for yourself, that I want you to put in, under your feet, that I want you to put on your head that will protect you against the fiery darts of the enemy, the, the confusing thoughts that the enemy wants to bring, is that God is with you. God is with you. He's not waiting on the other side of the battle. He's not somewhere else engaged. He's with you because he loves you. God is with you in the battle. So right now, won't you do this with me and just even in your imagination, just say, I put on this helmet of salvation that God is with me. He is my savior that is with me, that makes known to me his will, his purposes, his plans, that he is with me. The other gods may not live among humans, but my God lives among me, us, and he is with me. Let us pray together. I'm going to take this thing off. It's very heavy. Um, let's pray together. Father, I thank you in Jesus' name that you are not far from us. You are not distant, but that you are with us. I want to pray for every person that is listening to this little clip today. I pray for them, Father, that right now in this moment, the peace of God that surpasses all understanding, that God's our hearts and our minds will be their portion right now, that they will know that you are with them, that they're not facing this day alone, they're not facing this week alone, they're not facing this season alone, but that they are in you and that you are with them and that you are close to them. And I thank you for that, Lord Jesus. Thank you that you are our Savior, that you keep us, that you protect us, and that not only are we safe in you, but that we can step forward into the victory that you have purchased for us the victory that you have given us, we can appropriate that and step into that victory because we are secure in you. We are protected in you. And I thank you for that, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. May the Lord bless you. Have a fantastic week.